can never tell if you can hear the traffic out there. But if it's distracting to me, I feel like it should be just <laughs> Hello, welcome back. I feel like wearing a red eyeshadow, so we're gonna do that today. Uh, quickly, I'll let you know what's on my lips because I feel like people tend to ask me and I often forget. So I actually just put this on in another video. I changed my top and my earrings and you think it's a completely different day. Um, this is the ColourPop Fresh Kiss Lip Cream in the shade Smoochin, okay? Started with this. Then I went in with Melt Nudist Lip Liner and then I went into the center a little bit. I lost it, where did it go? With uh, Melt Cosmetics Nude, N-O-O-D. That's the lip, now you know. Let's zoom in, because only we're only doing our eyes today. This video is for me, by the way. It's just for me. Also, I just, I, I went a little heavy on the tread now, and so my eye area is um, peeling a little bit. So just like pretending that that's not happening. I've already filmed three other videos today, so I'm like a little bit out of breath. Anyway, I'm breaking out the Melt Cosmetics. It's so funny when, um, no, never mind. Like literally, why are you rambling? Amor, Amori Mariposas palette. The name is there, the shades are there. It's the butterfly palette and it just has like really, really pretty colors. And I fuck with Perla so much. So I'm gonna do that because I feel like wearing a red eyeshadow and I haven't done it in a really, really long time. One of my favorite looks that most of you probably know is just like one color all over your eyes, but especially with a red, oh my God, like a blood red. It's like a little bit light. I typically like something that's like really like deep, like blood red, but fuck it, we're gonna use this. Like I said, this video is for me, okay? It's for me. I'm gonna do a little bit of a, what's that thing? Baking, and I just feel like red is gonna get everywhere. So I'm dipping into my LC Cosmetics powder and I'm gonna do it up in here, up in here. Dude, that video where I, um, <laughs> where I said, I said fuck like three times so early in the video. And I was like, oh, I have to bleep that. Like so annoying. So I put bleep in text over it to remind myself, you have to bleep it. And then I just exported it and uploaded it. So I just say fuck and you see the word bleep. So embarrassing, so embarrassing. Worst YouTuber ever. Um, let's see, what brush do I wanna use? So I'm gonna use my refer number one brush, blender. And I'm gonna tap into Perla. Can you see it? I'm gonna tap into Perla. Tap, tap, tap. So I wanna make sure that I'm really tapping off that brush just cause this, this shit's pigmented. Um, and I'm gonna start off on the outer corner of my eye. Just start building that shit up, bro. I'm literally just gonna blend this everywhere. <laughs> But I love that um, that shape, you know, like my fave is just this shape. So I started up high. I'm gonna bring it down all onto my lid, including the inner corner. And then, you know, I'm kind of pulling in because I don't want it to get like too blown out. And then once this area is like fully covered, I'm gonna start blending. So I'm gonna get into my circular motions. So anywhere where I wanna blend and I don't wanna take the product out, I'm pulling inward. Dude, my, man, my stomach is literally making the craziest noises right now. I apologize. My mic is like right there. So I just feel like all of these fucking videos that I'm filming, it's just gonna be my stomach making crazy noises. Anyway, so I'm gonna build up that color more so on my lid. This is like almost more of a strawberry red. Not quite as bloody as I want it to be. Sick. Especially if you have green eyes. I uh, love it. So once again, just building it up here, starting it on the outer part. And then before I pick up any other product, I'm just gonna slowly bring it in. So you're kind of just like placing down the product and then, or the um, pigment and then just blending in, wiping off my brush and then going and blending around those edges and 
pulling that red out into a little bit more of a triangular shape towards the end of my brow. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of that red, build it up once again on the outer perimeter or the outer um, corner, I mean. Taking it into the lid, pulling in, just patting around this corner because it got a little bit more blown out than this side. I'm gonna wipe off my brush, build up that pigment right in here. Um, okay, so that's how I'm going to handle the top. So easy, just like whatever shape you want. Now for my lower lash line, unfortunately I lost my favorite eyeliner. I used to have a red eyeliner. I think it was from Marc Jacobs and it was just dope as fuck and it was like blood red. Let's see. I think I have one from ColourPop that's like not bad. Yeah, Joyride. Let's use Joyride. Um, I'm gonna place this in my waterline before we do the lower lash line. So I'm going in my waterline. I'm gonna drag it a little bit onto my lower lash line so I can blend that shadow into it. Dude, make my, no mistake, I've literally done this look probably like 45,000 times <laughs> in my lifetime. It's one of my favorites. So when it comes to my waterline, I really enjoy like placing the color right in there, but because of the shape of like my um, lower lash line, I kind of like to angle it a little bit and drag it ever so slightly onto my lower lash line so that I don't end up having any, having any gaps between that eyeliner and whatever shadow I put on my lower lash line. I guess I'll use this. This is the Refero 3 brush. It's dirty. I'm not gonna clean it. Um, it's this little guy. And I'm gonna pick up that same red, Perla. We're literally only using one shadow. Place that on my lower lash line. And just kind of like buff that into my eye bag and use it to, why do I feel like you're not focused? Can you focus on my face? Buff that into my eye bag and help blend the eyeliner and I'm using this nice pointed brush because I kind of want to like use this in my inner corner as well and I'm just gonna wipe it off when I want to like blend it down oh, okay game time decision I decided I'm gonna go in with um Maria So I'm gonna start off on the lower lash line. I'm gonna use that same, wait, did I tell you what this was? The refer number three brush? Use that same brush. And I'm gonna start this off on the lower, on the outer part of the lower lash line. And then I'm just gonna bring it up a little bit. Just laying it in to begin with. Love a game time decision. This is one of my favorite things to do when I have a very important event or something. I love to be like, I'll use this new product or I'll do this new technique, cause fuck it. Okay, so we just laid it in, reverse cat eye shit, wiping it off. Okay, I'm gonna pick up a little bit of Perla, that red. I'm gonna go in and blend around this, pulling it inward, grabbing Perla, blending around that dark color down here. Now I'm gonna grab a smaller blending brush. This is um, the Yano series by Beautylish. This is number 10, this guy. I'm gonna grab Maria. And I'm gonna load it up on the outer corner. I'm gonna kind of work it into the outer part of my crease onto the lid. So kind of creating like a little bit of a V and then blending into this part. Oh, well, I'm like not even in the fucking frame. <laughs> so I'm kind of doing that. I love it when they're not even, it's the best. Picking up Perla, do a little blending. Grabbing a clean brush once again, Yano Series Beautylish number nine blender. I'm going to blend around this area. Using a clean brush is going to pick up any extra pigment. Um, it's going to blend without placing a bunch of like product back down. It's kind of like 
an eraser if you use it correctly. I'm using this all the way around the edges. Dope. God, I love it so much. I wish I had somewhere to go. Um, I just need like, to add some definition along my eyelash line. So I'm gonna grab my uh, Ruffer 03 and Maria, the dark color, and just kind of like pat it for a little definition. This is dope as fuck, I love it so much. All right, um, now I'm just gonna throw down some mascara, but I should probably bless, like bless? I should probably blend this shit off my face. I'm just gonna throw down a little bit of the REM Beauty um, Miss Mercury highlight, simply because it's literally right here. It's the first thing I picked up on my cheekbone. Mascara. Um, I'm gonna use Clio. Refer Lash Curler. Do you guys miss me using falsies? Because I will if you really want me to, but like, I don't miss them, <laughs> like at all. Yeah, so I'm gonna go in with Clio first. Um, and then I'm gonna build up with my Buxom mascara to make the uh, lashes a statement. All right, now I'm going in with my, um, I went in with Buxom on my lower lashes. And I'm going in with Buxom on my upper lashes on top of that Clio mascara to really build them up. Oh, I just got it all over my eyelid, I think. Yay! Okay, I was a little reckless with that um, mascara application, so I'm gonna need to clean that shit up when it dries. Um, all right, so this is it. That's it for the eyes. It's literally all I'm gonna do. I guess I ended up using two shadows, but if it were like more that color right there, I probably would have just used one. Yeah, this is like one of my favorite looks of all time. Basically a one color, one eyeshadow look. Um, all right guys, that's it for this. I literally just felt like putting red eyeshadow on because I think it's dope as fuck. And if you have green eyes, you should totally do it. Um, and that's literally it. This is just one of my favorite looks and I haven't done it in a really long time. I was looking at uh, all the looks that I've posted on Instagram and they've just been so boring. <laughs> so I wanted to I wanted to go in with some color. But let me know if there are any specific eyeshadow looks that you wanna see next. Um, and obviously like specific videos, whatever. Uh, and that's it. I will see you next time. Bye.